Yo, what's up, crazy? It's me, Crazy Knock, and today we went over the Into the Verse and all the changes that are coming to Multiverses Season 3, but they released the official patch notes, and my god, they are long. So I'm going to try my best to go in game and give you a summary of what kind of changed with these characters. I won't be perfect because holy shit, it's a lot. I will link it in the description below, but I will try to do my best to go in game and give you guys the rundown, at least to get an idea of what's changing. We got Nap Time is Over Rift and Batman Mega Mix Rift. Gem levels are now 20 instead of level 10 but the same xp is like the same so it kind of like spreads it out i guess and the difficulties are based on your max xp on gems rather than your average gem levels ranked if you're diamond ma or master on a character then the next one you level up will be at least silver five or gold five it won't be like bronze if you defeat a player who's higher tier than you then you're gonna gain more and then if you lose against a higher tier player you're gonna lose less they said they're gonna, they started like with a light touch on that, so they'll change it if they need to. So matchmaking now favors games in the same tier. So if I'm Master 1, it's gonna find someone between Master 5 and Master 1. But it will still go back to two tiers to like uh, Diamond if it needs to. Pre-made groups are assigned their MMR by the strongest player for both placement and RP calculations. Higher MMR to get masters, so it's going to be harder to get, especially since there's best of three starting rather than the only one match in the beginning and it was all bugged. If you're master one and above, you if you don't play, your MMR will decay. We now use open skill to calculate MMR instead of a customized version of Glico for matchmaking. I have no idea what that is. And it allows new players returning to get like more appropriate matches. In training mode, there will be a hit stun combo information and then improve this timing right here to reset. So it's probably like more instant. And it seems like change the bot behavior. So if I hit him over to this side and I reset, he won't go to the spawn point. It seems like he might stay where he's at or something. Oh, there's a new perk, new general perk, broken wings. If you get knocked back while you have no jumps remaining, gain an extra jump. Wow, that's kind of cool. So if you're completely fucked and you get hit, you actually have another jump to save yourself. And then another one, blind spot guard. If an enemy dodges your melee attack, briefly gain some gray health. Basically, this first ground attack uh, reduced startup window and the hit stun is increased. And this right here, instead of it going horizontal like that, it's going to try to send downwards so, what, so that way it triggers a ground bounce. So that way you can combo. A lot of these things are going to trigger ground bounces instead. Air side attack. It seems like you can fast fall. This allows fast fall. Oh yeah, basically this one will have more momentum with the dare. So that way it can be a way to initiate a combo. Less momentum on the dodge off platform into Nair. It's still fast, but it's just not quite as insane. And the same thing for Sare. Off a ledger platform, the momentum of the up airs. More momentum on attack startup with this down attack. And that is it for Arya. Banana guard with some decent changes. Uh, you can, when you hit this, you can cancel out way faster. Like that, I can't even, I can't even cancel out of it, man. And same with the cancel window on this neutral attack. And more, more momentum on the, this kick. As well as when you hit them, it's gonna angle more down to probably proc a ground bounce to do more combos. So I'm sure you could do this. And then a Sare a lot easier. That's true because it's going to hit him on the ground first. Same as Arya down. It's going to have more momentum going down. And same with the, the Sare is going to have more momentum forward. But apparently like backwards, it's going to have less momentum, which I don't understand. So you can't like... And same with this side special. Uh, the dash attack for Batman is no longer the kick. It is actually an armor break that's like a punch punch with his fist. And, and then his down tilt, instead of this, that is going to do... So his down tilt is going to do this, not the second kick, but the first one. And then if you do the down kick again, it will do the armor break. So it's a slide. It's a slide. And then this, if you click it again, double down tilt. This punch right here, when you're off cooldown, it's actually going to be... So right now it just sends them straight across, unless they DI into the ground. But now it's going to actually combo you into the ground while your battle ring is on cooldown. Ground up attack, hit pause reduced. You can't do Sair as insane off ledges and platforms. Fast falling on startup, so it's just more momentum with the dare. 
Uh, Dodgers now more reliably give more like momentum, I guess. It's gonna feel better to dodge. I think this jab is still gonna be true, but the first jab is gonna be delayed a little bit, so that way you don't accidentally hit both of them. Wow, the ground down attack right here, it's the movement speed, or like the movement speed is 25% faster. And when you hit it, it's not gonna send up, it's more gonna send down. Maybe not a high percent, but it's gonna try to get a ground bounce. More momentum on the side attack. They're really trying to improve aerial initiations. Uh, less momentum, dodging off ledge or platform into up air and then more momentum with the down air so basically every down air universally is going to get like a faster momentum so that way you can like combo with a dodge ground down attack will have a six second cooldown oh my god finally hit pause reduced on this and hit hit box uh reduced 10 percent more horizontal momentum when you with this startup for most abilities it has they change it to where there's like less momentum dodging off the platform i think that's to make up for the extra momentum in the air this the ground or side now costs dodge meter one unit of dodge meter if you want to use this even off when there's not lightning so this actually got buffed to where the startup frames are faster but if someone gets hit they can't get hit by the same move again for six seconds so those times where it's like you get electrocuted, you get shot down on the edge, and then he just does it again, like that won't happen. Projectile shield is destroyed when I die. Right now it stays there, but it will disappear if he dies. Size is nerfed a little bit, so that way it doesn't hit behind him. Uh, throwing pies no longer deflects pies deflected by teammates. So I guess I would just go through. Uh, less momentum on the neutral air to go backwards, so the opposite way is facing, like, less momentum, so maybe you're, like, stuck in that animation. More momentum this way, less momentum the opposite way, uh, which I don't really understand w the benefit. And then more momentum, down attack, with every single attack. So on attack startup, the more momentum downwards, but it has a 20 frame lockout instead of 8, so you can't just... Like, you can't do that. Less momentum, dodging off platforms and then up air. Down air, more momentum. Air down special, less hit stun, but it's gonna make it so it goes more down. Up in the air, it's gonna go for a ground bounce, so that way you can actually combo it. Uh, the backpack strength perk is basically lowered by like 50% of knockback with full coins. Same with this, the maximum knockback to 100 from 200, which is insane. Uh, so after throwing this and placing the electrical trap, if I do it again, a new perk, signature perk, it's going to blow it up immediately. Uh, her back size on her gauntlets reduced a little bit. Doing this, the jab too, it's going to send down into a ground bounce for more combos. This is going to apply armor. And if you hit her with, if you hit right here with her fist, it's going to send them downwards. Because her gauntlets now have a hitbox on that move. And if you do it fast, I think the charge time is faster as well, if you do a quick one, but the charge one is unchanged. You can actually cancel out of this faster when you whiff that move. Less momentum off a of platform for the Sayer. Momentum in the opposite direction? I really don't know why that would be a nerf. Oh my god! More, mo more momentum on the dare. Uh, more whiff for missing this though. Oh wow, now Gardak can charge this to three instead of two, and when she gets it to three, it will grant her and her ally a projectile shield. Wow, that's really strong. I uh, just lowered the hitbox size for this so it doesn't hit behind her as much. This is more consistent to combo and it does a little bit more. More damage and more consistent on the double clap. Holy shit, how much shit is there for her? My God. I don't know how they were doing that, but they were placing a star right at the blast zone and they could literally jab and do it and just send you to the moon. So stupid. So that's not a thing anymore. Longer start up on his arrow on the ground and in the air. Momentum, more momentum on the side air. This hitbox is reduced to match visuals, which is nice because holy lord, it's ginormous. So if you miss his ability, the more whiff nine frames, so you can't move as quick. The charge version is less likely to hit from behind. Uh, this more reliably will combo into it, into each other. More momentum, let's see here. As if it was, wasn't was really annoying anyway. Uh, more momentum, doing a dodge. Like that. 
Uh, when he's in rage mode, you might have noticed that he has the burst indefinitely. So if you hit him, he can just burst like that over and over. But now he has the same cooldown as he does when he's not raged. So this knockback and startup is faster and he moves forward while performing this move. So it's going to be like maybe more of a finisher or maybe a, a way to actually like start your combo. Also, it's going to be more horizontal of a hitbox and you can't cancel out of it as fast. Uh, start up on this is faster. Sometimes this would actually like suck you in, but now it's just oh, the last hit on this ability will always send you away. And the knockback angle though is more likely to send downwards for ground bounce. Uh, le less momentum, dodging off. Side air. Same thing with down attack and up attack. Less momentum with this ability, so you can't just like outrun someone with it. In rage mode, projectiles now go through platforms. Uh, the, when you're in rage mode and you do the foot slam over and over, it no longer sends a shock wave. Uh, this move right here, instead of sending up, it will send down. And this, so basically doing this in the special confirm. Uh, more reliable on the jabs as well. Usually Jakes don't go for jabs. But if you whiff this move, it's a lot slower to dodge out of it. More momentum on the first attack, less knockback on the second, but your hand is invulnerable, so you can't get hit by like the your tip of your hand. The skateboard has faster falling, so it seems like it might be able to combo. Uh, the bite, he can no longer jump while he has the bites, and a lot easier to mash out. Uh, he also can't SD you anymore. I think that was already shadow nerfed, but they will be able to jump out. More momentum with Jason air neutral, air side attack, and the same thing to start up for more momentum on the down air as well. And then the dodge there, and then the dodge nair. LeBron got insane changes. I'm not gonna go all through all of them, but basically the Sarah was still strong, but without a ball, his moves are stronger. Like the dare had a more of a precise hit, but now it's like way wider. And this one, you can cancel out of it. Like, right there, I couldn't even do anything out of it. But now you can, like, instantly attack from that. Yeah, down tilt will send them down to the ground for ground bounces. That's basically all I know. Dash attack is more reliable. Uh, when you bubble a projectile, it will reset its hit history. Because there's a lot of times where you a person dodges your projectile. But then if it goes through you again, because you switch the button, the direction of it, it will just still act as if you dodged it. So they basically improved that a lot on Marvin to where when he switches it with the button, it will reset the hitbox. So that way they would have to dodge it again. Uh, the whip is no longer a projectile. The jabs are more consistent. Uh, damage and knockback increase for this. More momentum doing this with a dodge. Same with uh, the air side attack one and two. More momentum with the dodge. Oh, more horizontal momentum with the dare, so that way you can actually use it as a opener. More momentum with the dare. All the dares are gonna be really smooth. Uh, Tether has a eight second less cooldown, so it's gonna be up a lot more, which is kind of insane. And then if you get thrown by an ally in this mode, it has more knockback. Full jab is slightly faster on startup. The one in three part. The spawn time for fart bomb increased by 12 frames. So it's gonna be a lot faster, but if you miss it, it's a really big whiff. And then the same thing with this one, more momentum with the dodge down air. Jeez, this already feels pretty nuts. Active hitbox increased. And more knockback from me seeks. Holy shit, 50 minutes, oh my God. Uh, hitbox is active more with the up special. Uh, hitbox reduced on the neutral attack. Hit pause reduced on the third jab. Second hit of this is going to send them more downwards for a ground bounce. Now this allows fast falling on startup. So you could probably get a better angle. More momentum for the down air, of course. Hitbox size reduced on the down special. Holy shit, that hits insane. More downward momentum though. And then the focus version is uh, less likely to hit behind him. Hitbox size reduced on the jab, the first jab. That's beautiful. Basically less knockback on the ground up attack. More momentum with the down attack. You will slowly fall if you're charging in the air now. Sandwich healing is reduced to two from five. So if you miss this kick, there's more whiff on the rage kick. More momentum with the dodge attack with the neutral. Less momentum on the up air. 
and more momentum on the down attack air down attack oh so it's like a this one's gonna be an actual more of a bite the the on cooldown version of the saw which i had no idea existed and it's gonna have more momentum with the dodge the air neutral attack has more damage hitbox is active more has more knockback and it will send more downwards more momentum with a side attack air up attack more momentum and the down attack more momentum and for the moment we've all been waiting for superman i looked over it and superman is nerfed basically he has a lot more whiff on his ice so he can't just cancel out of abilities and he actually has a meter on ice and you cannot repeat the move as a 20 frame lockout so you can't just do it over and over I've, his ground side attack three is less likely to hit behind him more momentum with the sair before it's just we lost all the momentum with the dodge sair but now it's there and the same with the dare so maybe i'll be actually want to dodge into it and then last but not least they fixed the lasers from not hitting where they're supposed to so on the maps it just go through so hopefully those will be fixed i'm actually okay with these changes increasing the momentum for superman just that's how he's meant to be played anyway not just the ice game so i welcome the changes i think they're good movement distance on the ground attack is increased less horizontal momentum with the neutral more momentum with the side attack though air up attack more momentum a little bit reduced hitbox so it doesn't hit behind them air neutral attack that's gonna like it's gonna keep more momentum when you do that which is weird i've never seen anyone a joker do that with card same with the air side attack more momentum if you do this up air as a dodge but it has less knockback and you can't fall down as fast as a quick escape more momentum on startup but if you miss it more whiff more momentum with the dodge even though you already float freaking forever <laughs> startup window frames on the side special by five frames on whiff you can't cancel out of the ability as fast but more momentum if you do it as a dodge holy shit these fucking patch notes are insane dude holy lord this is me trying to go fast ground neutral attack on hit cancel window advance 10 frames so a lot faster with that. They might use that more often. More momentum with the racket. He's gonna be using the racket more. It's gonna hit him downward. Uh, this has more momentum. Air side attack. Lots of momentum, guys. They didn't change anything with the air down attack. That's insane. It's the same hitbox. It's just more momentum now. Uh, the ground up attack can no longer on hit cancel into a dodge or ground side attack while it is active so it's like you can't get the true combos out of that at least more momentum with the dodge more momentum with the dodge more momentum on startup and then you fast fall as well so you can like ease your combo with that end future puzzles no longer home to a target once reflected more momentum as a dodge and more momentum and more momentum with the book just lots of more momentum. Wonder Woman literally got no changes, man. Just like less momentum with the Sair off of platforms on the edge. And then her down tilt has more momentum on attack startup. One move and this is all they nerfed. Literally nothing. And that's it, crazies. Holy fuck, that's such a long patch notes. I don't know if that's going to be worth it. This is like the most miserable. It's just so long. It's so long. I try to even rapid fire, man. Oh, painful pain, pure agony. And there you have it, crazies. There are all the patch note changes. As you can see, a lot of it was redundant about the dodge <clears throat> dare and then like the just the dare itself having momentum. A lot of universal changes throughout all the characters just being a lot faster and more aerial approaches and uh, how i feel about superman i think it's okay the ice didn't need to be that large i'm concerned about being a meter to where if like am i even gonna want to or is it even possible to freeze anyone now like because now it just seems like i'll use it for projectile protection the momentum is increased and the lasers are fixed hopefully so we'll see you tomorrow guys Crazy, let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you even understood what I was saying. Holy Lord, I'll have the patch notes in the description below. But with that, crazies, I appreciate your time. Thank you for listening to me, yibber yabber. And uh, hopefully that was helpful to, you know, just kind of make it more streamlined instead of reading the patch notes. Because my God, it's quite confusing and it's a lot to take in. So appreciate your crazies. And with that, I say goodnight and goodbye.
Goodbye, Gracie. Goodbye, Gracie. Love you, Gracie. Come on.